Hey Commanders, this is Command Atlas Rand. Today I've got a short video, I think this one actually will be short, for you. And uh, the name of this video is Why You Should Learn to Fly with Assist Off. So there is a, a mode Welcome in the game that just for those of you that love hearing the uh, the voice in the background. No, I'm kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn that off. Bye bye, Commander. There Until we go. Time. See, you'll you'll appreciate that. I know. I better get a nice comment from people that don't want to hear that. Anyway, one take. That's all we do here. One take. Uh, why you should learn to fly with um, assist off mode. Assist off mode. I don't remember what the default on it is, but if you go to your keybinds, you will see it. In fact, let's just do and find where it is so you guys know where to look. I think it's in flight miscellaneous. Toggle flight assist. Okay, it's a Z. I've also mapped it to my joystick myself. But if you've never used it, try it out. Start going in a straight line in some direction. And then press the Z key. And then try turning direction and let go. And you will see that you're still going the same speed that you were before, except that your ship is spinning now. And it's spinning because what assist does is it fixes the position of your ship and uses your thrusters to keep it moving on whatever is currently actively being applied. So if you are going forward, let me go into full speed forward. There we go, 173, and then I let go of that. I bring the speed to zero. You can see it stays at 173. And now if we start a slow turn of the ship, we're still going 173. We're still going in the original direction but the ship itself is now free to spin around itself, around its own axis, and move. But the movement and the direction the ship is pointing at don't have to be the same. So I'm actually flying back right now. And if we keep going, we're going to keep turning, and you'll see that we're actually going to come back. Actually, I'm going to stop this. I'm not going to come back to the same direction. So now we're... We're flying backwards. So let's say I want to fly forward this direction now. So I give it full forward. You can see our speed's actually slowing down. Well, it's slowing down because the ship is now changing direction. And now it's speeding back up. And we've caught on to uh, now moving in this direction. You have to do very gentle movements because a uh, compared to what you would otherwise. So. For example, I'm going to turn it off here, go back to normal mode. And then let's accelerate back to full speed. Now, if I jerk the joystick all the way back, they'll make the nose of the ship go up. Um, you can see I'm, I'm going to press the joystick all the way back right now. So this is all the way back. And then if I let go, it stops turning immediately. I push the joystick down, ship nose goes down, I let go, it stops turning right away. This is what the default mode is. This is what most people are used to playing. With flight assist off mode, you can see in the upper right hand corner it says assist off. That's your indicator that that mode is now on. I push the joystick all the way up, we spin, I let go, it continues spinning. So, as I said, one of the major benefits of this mode is you can actually be flying one direction, but then turn around and shoot behind you at the people chasing you, whether they're NPCs or humans. The other thing is you're only inputting very small control corrections into the joystick or the mouse, if you're using it that way, in order to change what the ship is doing. And they're just very slight little bumps, and then you let go immediately. So I'm going to do a very short, probably about a one second push of the joystick to the left. One second. And that's all it was. While I was saying the words one second, I pushed the joystick. Now one second in the other direction. 
and then just a slight little correction to get back on track. Um, so what's what else is a benefit other than flying backwards for this mode? Well, another thing you can do is you can actually go around an object. And I actually, maybe I'll fly to a station and show you what flying around the station is like to do an orbit. The way you would normally do an orbit, if we go out of assist off mode, is you would fly forward at full speed the entire time. You would then go around whatever the object is. But right now, in this case, I would be going around something that's below me. And I couldn't actually see it unless I look. Let's see. Yeah, I can actually look at my feet. So I would have to look at my feet to see the thing that I'm circling. Maybe we can find a rock to do this with, although rocks aren't very big. Um, but, but you're generally going to be looking down at your feet to go down or above your head if you're circling something that's above you. Whereas in assist off mode, you get a velocity in a certain direction. And then if you want to go around that thing, you actually pivot in the direction you want to go. Keep in mind, you can see by looking at the rocks, we're still going forward in the original direction, which is actually towards the top of the ship because the ship is looking down, even though it's moving forward. And if I start giving a little bit of throttle to go down, then the ship is going diagonally. It's both moving the original direction, which is forward, and it's getting closer to the rocks because it was also going down. So we've combined both those forward momentum and downward momentum into a, uh, an actual course for the ship that is diagonal. Now imagine doing that same type of maneuver, but continuously changing the direction that you're going. So you're actually doing a loop around whatever it is. And again, I'll, I'll get to a rock maybe closer here, but I want to do it without a rock first, but you're basically doing a rock, a loop, but you're looking down while you're doing the loop. You're kind of keeping whatever it is that you're trying to loop around visible at all times instead of looking down at your feet. So it's a, it's a method of doing a different type of orbit. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, there's too many rocks here. Let me get to this one. That one looks like it's actually a little closer. I'm going to break from all movement by going out of assist off mode, then back in. And let's see. Let's get closer to this rock. <clears throat> let's see how long it takes me to bounce off a rock. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is actually go down with my controls, down and forward at the same time, which allows me to keep the rock in front of me while I'm moving around the rock. Oh, landing gear. I didn't want landing gear. I wanted this. So you can see it's in front of me. Now let me turn off assist on or assist off mode and go to normal mode. Ship will slow down. I'm gonna get a little closer to this rock. And now I'm gonna attempt to do the exact same thing. But and that is go around the rock, but I'm gonna do it in the normal mode without uh, assist off. So if I want to go into normal mode, then I'm always going to try and go past the rock. So I'm going, to, I'm going to keep it in my view up here. So I'm basically going forward and I'm turning as hard as I can to keep that rock above me. If I actually point at the rock, I'm going to crash into the rock. So with assist off, you're better able to do this sort of a uh, orbiting type move, type maneuver, while actually being able to point the ship at the thing that you want to keep orbiting around. So that's another benefit. Um, 
fuel is not a huge concern in this game, but certainly there are times when you're short on fuel, and if you want to go forward and just put the uh, throttle into its maximum uh, setting, and go forward, and you're going to keep burning fuel while you're going forward. You can hear the engine noise. Uh, or we can turn assist off, go forward full speed, and then drop the throttle to zero. And you're still going the same speed, but you're actually burning less fuel now. But again, in this game, fuel's not exactly a big thing. I, I once left a ship with assist on the normal mode going s straight line out of a planet i think i got up to uh get something to drink and ended up getting a phone call and then forgot about it and came back six hours later and uh, i had a dead ship screen i was like oh no what happened i forgot that i left the ship running and then i started looking at the log notes and it turned out that the ship ran out of fuel when it completely ran out of fuel, it stopped producing oxygen. So my life support kicked in and it was A-rated. So 20 minutes later, that stopped supplying oxygen to me and I suffocated aboard my ship. <laughs> so unfortunately, when you die, your ship is also uh, basically dead. It doesn't just keep floating out there. So you end up having to go to back to a, a new buy ship screen. Um, what else? about this mode can I show you so this has all been going forward let's actually stop we'll put it in normal mode I find that that's the easiest way to stop is to uh, just have assist on slow you down unless you're aggressively trying to stop in which case you can also reverse the throttle on it as well but once we stop I want to show you a couple other interesting things that happen with assist off so we've been going forward the whole time let's say you want to go straight up there are certainly plenty of times especially if I'm mining or something where I don't necessarily want to go forward but I do want to go up or down or left or right so now I'm giving full throttle in the upward direction so zero throttle forward full throttle up you can see we're maxing out at 138 now I'm gonna go into assist off mode and you can see it went from 138 to 173, which was exactly what our speed forward was. And if I let go of the throttle, of course, we keep going because we keep drifting at that same speed. So that is going up, and uh, it's the exact same thing going down, as you can imagine. Let's once again stop. I will put it into uh, normal mode again. That will slow us way down. And it slows us down really fast, too. So same thing. If I want to go right, I'll turn off assist mode. Actually, with assist mode. Let's go right with assist. You can see how fast we can go. And left and right are going to be exactly the same, of course. So we're going to max out at 138. Turn off assist. And now we can get to 173, which is the full speed. So with assist off, you have exactly the same speed limit in any direction you fly. Forward, back, left, right, up, down. It doesn't matter. With assist on, and I don't know why this is the case, but it just is, it limits your speed left, right, up, and down, or backwards. So if we uh, just face the rocks, you can better see them getting smaller so I'm gonna go backwards and this is with normal mode and it should be 137 I think again oh it's even slower it's 104 going backwards and I've got full full backwards speed you can see this is all the way at the back now 104 let's turn off assist Look at that, 173. So 173, assist off. And you can let go of the throttle. I'm going to push the throttle all the way back again. 
turn on assist mode and you can see it's going to slow us down and slows down a lot all the way down to 104. So these artificial speed limits that are imposed when you have assist off are significantly lower than what you can do when you have assist off mode. Now for a lot of people, when you first turn this on, it's the ship's gonna feel like it's just doing crazy stuff. I'm kind of doing this on purpose, but this is what you're gonna feel like. It's gonna be spinning when you don't want it to spin. It's gonna be moving and you can't tell, is am I going forward, am I going backward? What's the ship doing? Uh, really easy, just turn assist mode back on to totally stop the ship. Uh, it helps if your throttle is at zero. Mine wasn't, but there you go. Now, turn off assist and make just very slight little movements with your hands. And remember, you want to just quickly push and release. Push and release. Pull and release. Push sideways. Push the other direction. So instead of just holding the whole time and then letting go to stop, you're never really holding it. Like, you don't need to hold this all like I'm holding this to the right there's no reason to hold this all the way to the right because it doesn't add anything more after the initial small push to the right and if I let go nothing changes again now I'm just going to do one quick push of about one second to the left there we go that stopped now I'm going to do a really quick little push forward to stop that movement that's spinning it right now as well okay too much there we go so anyway, play around with it. Um, this is one of those things that maybe takes half an hour to really kind of figure out, to make sure you understand what you're doing, but then it'll take you five years to really get good at it. I am not good at this. I'm barely surviving when I'm flying in assist off mode, but I'm forcing myself to fly in it more and more just for the benefits that you saw, the speed benefits, and just getting more comfortable in flying. And a lot of people will say, you know, pick another ship, pick a rock, pick a station, any any object really, and just practice going around it. And the more of that you practice, the more comfortable you're going to get with this mode and the more you're going to be using it all the time. And of course, the more you use it, the more second nature it becomes. And then the next thing you know, you'll forget that there is a, a mode for assist that you learned to play the game in. All right, I'll see you in the next one.